Now, West Virginia Tonight. I spoke to Governor Justice about his budget proposal and how he expects to get it passed in the Capitol. It's a one on one interview you'll only see right here on West Virginia Tonight. Governor Justice, thank you so much for taking the time out to speak with us today. Dan, thank you for being here. Well, we, we really do appreciate it. So you said last night in your State of the State address that you hate tax increases. On the campaign trail, you said that you weren't going to raise taxes, but that, didn't, that did not prevent you from proposing $450 million in tax increases. So what do you say to people out there that might be uh, angry about this or perhaps uh, shocked? I don't like tax cuts or tax increases in any right. way. I wish to goodness that I could find any way in the world to get us out of this other than that. I can sunset those taxes, meaning that I can get rid of those taxes just as fast as we put them on. But I can find no way, no way other than us do away with Promise Scholarship, gut our seniors, forget our vets, close all of our schools, you know, annihilate our racetracks. It just goes on and on and on and on. And even if you do all of that, you're only halfway there. Do you have preparations to make bigger cuts? What, where, tell us where those are. You know, I am telling you, Dan, is 30 million enough? That there, there is no way that I, I think, I think for the legislator, legislature to propose massive cuts back to me, I'm going to warn everyone, and I want everyone to pay really good attention to a good business guy. If we cut massively to the degree that it's going to take, the patient will die. It's over. It's completely over. They do not have the guts to bring those level of cuts to me. You were very dire in your tone last night. Uh, you, you had a very serious look about you. Did we perhaps meet James, as you mentioned, in your inauguration speech? Well, I hope not. I hope not. But I want the people to know that from the standpoint, if they don't get it, they need to realize that, it, that James is here. It, things are terrible. We have done nothing other than kick the can down the road and absolutely create the most dire super depression. It's not a great depression, it is a super depression. Do you realize that really today, our rainy day fund is at a level to where we can't take it any lower unless we're willing to absolutely you know, put at stake in our bonds. We can't take it any lower. We've got a $500 million hole in the bucket that's gonna to go to 700 million. What are you gonna do? What in the world are you going to do? I didn't create this mess. Remember that. I am trying to lead us out of the mess. Now, I can kick the can a little bit down the road. If you kick the can down the road anymore, this state's going to die. Governor Jim Justice says he has a direct connection to the Trump White House. This comes after Justice refused to endorse a presidential candidate during the 2016 election. I spoke to the governor about his relationship with the Trump family. We also discussed his thoughts on the coal industry and environmental regulations. It's a one-on-one -on -one interview you'll only see on West Virginia Tonight. You urged Congress to disapprove the stream protection rule because overreach and overregulation hurts jobs. But what about the environment? Are you prepared or are you concerned at all that if a river such as the Kanawha is filled with coal slurry, that that isn't going to fall on the heads of people who are told to, to disapprove something that would protect our waterways? Now, I want everyone to understand, Jim Justice does not want anything whatsoever hurt within the environment or our waters. I love our environment, I love nature, I love the outdoors, I love our waters. I'm not gonna let that happen. But for crying out loud, this thing with regulation on top of regulation on top of regulation has strangled us into oblivion, and we got to stop it. And you said okay. that you have a good working relationship with President Donald Trump, that you talk all the time. Can you tell us what the last conversation was about that you had with him? Well, now, I, I, I talk through different people of the family from time to time and everything. Mm -hmm. 
You know, Donald called. It's been now probably five so or six weeks ago. When you have a direct ago. line at the White House, people at home are assuming that you're talking to the president, not I am. you know his cousin or. No, no, I'm talking. I'm, I'm either talking to the president, I'm either talking to Eric, or I'm talking to Don Jr. Right. You know, I'm not talking to one of his aides. So I'm powerful ears I, I, to have. I, say what? Those are powerful ears to have. Well, that's exactly right, and everything, and they're friends. And they really do care about West Virginia, you know. Uh, you know, right as we speak, you know, I am sending an invitation to Don Jr. to come and go turkey hunting with me in April. And uh, and and so, you know, we're, we are friends. And 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 I really can tell you that that President Trump, President Trump, Trump truly feels the pain of our miners and feels the pain of West Virginia. We share in, in, an, 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 you know, in a, uh, I guess, a thought that bring manufacturing back to the United States. There's our furniture manufacturing possibility and everything that we're going to discuss very soon. And so, you know, we do have a pathway to the, to the White House. Is there anything within his administration that you're willing to disagree with? Well, sure. I mean, you know, there's things that I'm, you know, and, and I don't, I'm not going to go into specifics. I mean, from time to time, you know, and I would tell Donald this if he was sitting here, from time to time, Donald can get a little more carried away than I would get carried away. You know, I mean, we're different in that. Absolutely. And, and, but at the same time, uh, he's a good man, and, and, I, and he is our president. Like it or not like it, Donald Trump is our president, and I really, truly believe he will look favorably on West Virginia. So will those tax increases drive West Virginians to bordering states like Ohio or Virginia? You can go to our Twitter page at West Virginia Tonight and you'll be able to see much more of our exclusive interview with Jim Justice. Congressman David McKinley visited the legislature and Governor Justice today. Congressman McKinley.